So have you been wanting to put up shelves and you just didn't know how to do it? Well, today I'm going to show you. Let's get started. Okay, so once you've determined where on the wall you want your shelf, you know, in relationship to the ceiling and to the floor, the next thing you have to determine is where is the stud? And that's very, very important before you put that first bracket on. If you don't know how to find a stud, we have a video at the CJ and Trail website and a video on the CJ and Trail channel on how to find a stud in the wall. Okay, I've already determined where the stud is for this first bracket. So this mark right here, that indicates not only where we want to place our first bracket, but it also indicates stud center. Now there's a piece of wood behind this drywall and it's running vertically, okay, from the ceiling to the floor. And this mark represents dead center of that piece of wood. And that's where we want to place this bracket. So I'm going to, I'm going to lower my bracket right below that mark. So my bracket now is right below the mark. The next thing I want to do is I want to take a, a level. Um, in this case, I'm just going to use a small torpedo level, small level like this. It's called a torpedo level. And I'm going to lay that right up against my bracket because what I want to make certain of at this point, I want to make certain that my bracket is completely plumb. And remember, plumb is straight up and down, okay? So I'm going to use this this bubble here as my indicator of whether or not my bracket is plumb. It looks like I got to tip it a little bit this way. Okay, so as you can see, the little bubbles right in the center, that tells me that this bracket is running plumb. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to strike a line right along the edge of the bracket. I can remove this. Okay, so I've got my line. Now I want to take my bracket. I'm going to run it up alongside that line. So I'm going to Lay that right on the line. There we go. So it's in position now. Next thing we have to do is we have to mark the, the holes. So I'm going to take a pencil, mark, mark here. Make sure you mark all your holes. So now it's time to drill our pilot holes. And what are pilot holes? Well, pilot holes are just, think of it as a starter hole for the screw uh, so that the screw doesn't really have to work extra hard because remember, we're tying into a stud. So I'm going to make my first pilot hole here. So I'm going to secure the first bracket. There we go. Don't tighten it too tight because you're going to have to swing it up into position. And if you tie it in really tight, we'll make that adjustment later. You're not going to be able to move it and you're going to wind up um, scratching your your surface. So just enough to swing it into place and now we're going to secure the other screw. I'm using a screw that's two and a half inches in length. <laughs> comes time, we want to tighten those up. Because now it's, the bracket's in place, right? So we can just give it a little bit of juice. There we go. I'll tell you, that is very tight not going anywhere. Okay, so we've got our first bracket set. Now comes time for us to set our second bracket. The way we do that is with a level and a longer level than the uh, torpedo level. Remember that a long level means more accuracy. So I've got my level placed on my bracket. Now all I need to do now is make certain that that bubble slides to the center. So there we go, we've got that bubble right there in the center of the two lines. That, that tells me that our shelf itself is going to be level now. Now it's time to strike a line underneath the level. So I'm going to strike the line. So now that we've got our reference point for our second bracket, you just install it the same way. You place your bracket up against that reference line, mark the holes, and then I'm going to show you how to attach in a hollow area of the wall. Now we're doing a short shelf here today, but if at home you plan on doing a very long shelf, then I'm gonna show you the technique for running a long shelf. What you do is you put that first bracket up, make certain that it's in a stud. You're gonna need help in running the line. So you place your board on top of that first bracket. We've got our board placed on the first bracket. What you wanna do, you want to take your level, place it on top of the board for that long span. And you want to level it up 
the same way I showed you. But you're leveling on top of a board. Then you take your pencil and you just strike your line. And this is where having a helper comes in because as you're steadying it, that other person can strike the line underneath. Okay, so you've got your board up, you've got your line um, struck. And now the thing is, well, where do you place the bracket? Because you're going to have more than two brackets on a long run like this. And so what you have to do is you have to determine where some of the studs are. Because you're going to want to tie into more than one stud. The more studs, the more studs that you can tie into with your brackets, the better off you're going to be in terms of the load that shelf is going to be able to carry. Now you're not going to be able to hit every stud, okay? But get as many studs as you can and space your brackets so they're aesthetically pleasing to the eye. But don't forget to tie into those studs when you can. Okay, so I've got my holes for my second bracket marked. Now, remember when you're running a shelf that only has two brackets, one of those brackets, one of those brackets has got to be in a stud. Now the second bracket here doesn't fall on a stud, falls on hollow walls. What we're going to do is we're going to use something called a strap or snap toggle. That's what this is here. Now here's the thing. Some snap toggles come with a drill bit that you do manually by hand to create that hole. Some snap toggles, they come with a head where you have to drill the hole. We're going to drill a hole. Now, with the this, this snap toggle where you have to drill a hole, make certain that the hole you drill is large enough to accept the snap toggle. Okay, so we're just going to slide that on in, which we have, pull back on it, okay? And I'm just going to slide my piece up. There we go. Now what you want to do is you want to repeat the process with the other two holes. going to attach the bottom of the bracket just like we did with the first bracket okay I'm going to take a Phillips uh, bit and I'm gonna drill that into place and remember not too tight because you're gonna have to swing it into position and then we'll tighten it up now that they're all set it's time to tighten them up make that adjustment which is what I'm going to do right now That is nice and secure. We're almost finished. Both brackets are on and nice and solid. Nice and solid. Now it's time to put our shelf on. Okay, so I've got my shelf in place. You know, it's not attached yet, but you want to make certain that you have an equal amount of shelf hanging off the side of the bracket on one side as you do as the other. That way you get a nice balanced look. Now it's time to attach the shelf to the bracket. Okay, come on in close for the screws. Let me show you. These are the screws that we're going to use to secure the shelf to the brackets. Now, when you select, um, when you make your selection of screws, just make certain that the screw length is smaller than the width of the shelf. You don't want to penetrate the shelf. You just want to secure the bracket to the shelf. Okay, so I've got one in, and I just want to continue with the rest of the holes. We're using a self-topping screw you don't have to screw a pilot hole. It, it would be really tricky to screw a pilot hole here and not penetrate the wood. But if you're finding that the, the tip of the screw is skirting all over the wood, then you might have to just go ahead and use a drill bit to make just an indentation to get the screw going. Now that I have two screws in place, now I'm just going to continue to do the remaining four. Okay, so our shelf is complete except for these last couple books. And I got to tell you, this shelf is having no problem whatsoever shouldering the weight of the books. And I got to tell you, if you just follow the few techniques that I showed you in this video, you'll be just fine. This is Leah saying, you can do this. See you next time.